Welcome back to my channel, my name is Gabriella if you're new and as promised here is my everyday natural quick makeup tutorial. I can do this in literally 10 minutes if I'm in a rush. Let's go! Right, let's get straight to it. So firstly please do excuse the little bit of natural redness we've got going on. A lash lift really wouldn't go amiss either but we move. So I prep my skin with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I put this on before I do my makeup in the morning and before I go to bed at night if I can be bothered. Now for foundation I wasn't sure whether to use the Airbrush Flawless by Charlotte Tilbury or the Ordinary Serum Foundation. I love both of these or I could mix them, it just depends on how tanned I am. But today I think I'm going to use the Ordinary in light to medium 2.0 N. Yeah, I'm going to try and use some black as well. So give it a little shake. A couple of pumps on my brush. And let's go all over, get rid of the redness. And just buff it all. Now, this foundation that I'm using, it's not as full coverage as some but it really does the job and it's really nice and moisturizing so I definitely would recommend. Blend it into my neck as well. After the foundation I'm going in with my L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer. It is shade Ivory 322 and I love this. It is so cheap and it is really good coverage great for getting rid of all my dark circles just going in quite a bit under my eyes and on my chin as well <laughs> i find that it usually makes it easier to blend the concealer in if you use a flat foundation brush um first so i'm just blending the edges out with this this little mermaid one i'm pretty sure these brushes are actually from primark I can just blend it in really quickly, pat it in, just like that. Okay, now that my under eyes are a little bit brighter, no more dreadful dark circles, I'm going to go in with my MAC NW20 concealer for my eyelids. Now this is a little bit darker but I love this as well because, again, it is really full coverage. Just a little bit on there. Using this to brighten my eyelids up next. And I actually use my fingers quite a lot for my makeup. Just tapping that to blend it in. Right, so now my eyelids are nice and bright, ready for the day. I am just setting this with my favourite powder, this is amazing, it is just the Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder and I have 003 Peach Glow, um, so many people rave about this because it's so affordable and I've never used a fancy powder like I know people say the Laura Mercier one's good or ones like that but I've never felt the need, just pat this on my eyelids in shade 003 Peach Glow, for me this is a nice in between shade, if I've got a little bit of a tan it blends in with that, if I don't have a tan it also suits my skin pretty well. And just tap it onto my eyelids, this is a medium sized Nima brush. Time for bronzer, I've got the Hoola Light by Benefit and a little soft crease Nima brush again and I love the colour of this it's quite an orangey toned bronzer very natural don't laugh I actually use my bronzer as eyeshadow because my everyday look really is natural and easy quite subtle nothing crazy I'm really gently blending that into my crease just a little bit of definition Now I always use this bronzer because it's such a nice natural colour, it works well if you have a tan or you don't have a tan and 
I just run a little bit underneath my eyes as well. Just whatever is left. I know I don't actually have bronzer on yet, but it does give a really nice bronze, glowy, but matte look. I'm just going in with some highlights now. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow Kit. If I said that right. Um, I also use the contour shade in there if I'm contouring as well. But I love this for a nice, subtle highlight. Nothing too crazy. And just with a thin flat brush just dabbing that on my eyelid just because I don't want anything too wild for my everyday look but if you want to go all out and do a bold highlight every day you go for it And I've grabbed my soft crease brush again just to blend that in with my bronzer. You know, it's very subtle, but it just makes my eyes that little bit more shiny and cute. Now, just powdering my face. I'm going back in with that Stay Matte Powder. I don't have anything else that keeps my makeup in place because I don't use primers. Um, my makeup always stays on though. The brush I'm using is another one of my NEMA brushes. Big fluffy powder brush. There we go, just make my face nice and matte. No shine here. I've got my Spectrum A17 angled brush to do my brows with and yeah I've probably said that I don't go too crazy for every day I just literally fill them in and that is all. I don't actually get my eyebrows done either I'm awful really I actually trim them trim this little bit at the tops with nail scissors my friends really do not approve when I tell them that little beauty hack. There we go, just matching that up on the other side. When my brows go right, it really does put me in the best mood. Next, back in with my Film Star Bronze and Glow Charlotte Tilbury because, again, I know I've already said that that's uh, that that highlight is really subtle and pretty. So I'm going to pop a little bit of that up under my eyebrows as well to make them pop. I'm using a really tiny brush for this, and then I'm going to blend it in. It's the Spectrum A15. I think it's actually a lip brush not gonna lie grabbing my blending brush again just to blend, blend that into the bronzer a little bit more love it now for my everyday look I always think a little bit of highlight and shimmer why not but as far as winged eyeliner goes I can't really do that very quickly so I'm going to leave that out of this one. I'm going to go back in, I know I use this all the time, but with this Filmstar Bronze and Glow, and use the slightly darker 
sculpt side, the contour side, and back in with my soft crease brush. And I'm going to blend some of that on the outer corners as it's a little bit darker. Just a little. Now I'm using my Nima brush again. Oh, there's something gross in it though. What? But I'm putting that on the outer corners again with this Nima brush which blends like a dream. And then blending that into the crease just for a little bit more definition. Get it all on my nose. Well done, Gabby. Now, <laughs> I also take whatever is left on the brush, look up, and just run that underneath my eyes. Just a teeny little bit. It's mascara time. I swear this is not something I'd heard of but to me it's like the world's best mascara. It's called Dream Weave Lash Magnet Mascara. Mm. Now I always curl my eyelashes first because yeah it just makes my eyes look so much bigger and fuller and lashes look longer just like so. I don't personally wear falsies for my everyday makeup look because I don't have time for that but I do coat my mascara a couple of times Now for my bottom lashes, I go in with a really old mascara. This is a super old Benefit There Real mascara well, that is on its last legs because I actually don't want as much product on the bottom and it doesn't come out as thick. Okay, that's quite a lot of mascara. Now, depending on what mood I'm in, I add a bit more shimmer, and because why not? <laughs> this is not cheap. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter. So it's a bit of a splurge, but it is so gorgeous. So, so, so gorgeous. I'm just dabbing it on with my finger. They are clean. Again, I know I use my fingers quite a lot, but going all over the top of my lid blend it all together again I know I keep saying subtle but little subtle pop the bronzer I'm using is the Hoola Light by Benefit that I mentioned earlier. I'm going to use quite a lot. This is quite natural and blends in with my tan. Forehead. Just doing my neck. Blend it all down. I'm not really contouring here, I'm just bronzing today. Done. I'm just taking my Muzzle Cut 
why do I try and talk when I do my lip liner? But it is the Model Co Illusion Lip Liner. Now that my lip liner is on, I'm going in with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in colour, it says Cabo, spelled C-A-B-O, could be Cabo, I don't know, but put this just on top. Such a nice colour. I love matte lip creams and voila just got a tiny brush again and just highlighting the inner corners of my eyes just to finish just highlighting my cheekbones and my nose Tiny bit on my chin. People always ask me why do I put more mascara over dry mascara, but I love to put another coat on when I fi finish the rest of my makeup because I feel like it just makes my eyes look so much bigger to do that final extra coat. Finally, I go in with the Revolution Pro Fix Oil Control Fixing Spray. Ooh, why did I just talk? And fan that in so my makeup stays in place all day. And the very last thing I do is I go back in with the brush that I did my bronzer with. And I always check my neck before I move because that's the giveaway for any blending errors. And I'm done. Okay, I'm just taking my headband off. I'm gonna finish my makeup, check how it's looking with my hair, and we're done. That is my natural, everyday makeup routine. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you're new. I've really enjoyed doing this first makeup on YouTube. And yeah, if you liked it, please do click like and subscribe. And I hope to see you again. Bye.